We want to be just a like, to back with another half court. Today we're looking at to play this relatively new game called The Ten Plagues. Uh, the card game, which is my piece and love games. And uh, this is uh, a game that I got on Kickstarter. Basically, it's about set collecting and fulfilling contracts. But there's a bit more to it. It's designed by Slom Ben Naim. I hope it passed correctly. And Melissa Johnson. Illustrated by Lizzie Sivets. And it comes with a hundred of these plague cards. I'll put this aside. It is all about the biblical event, of course. It comes with a hundred of these plague cards, which have different suits that are all of the ten plagues. So hail, locusts, darkness, frogs, pestilence, blood, etc., etc. You get 24 of these pyramid cards, which have different uh, obligations you have to fulfill on them, different contracts, like this is, if I have any five cards of the blood, and boil suit, I would get this, and it's worth three points. And uh, you also get ten event cards, which are these right here, which I'll show you in a moment. These event cards represent the ten plagues striking and affect things in the game. You also get one excess card, which is at the bottom of this. And four player aids. Here you can see all the suits. And it actually has the transliteration and the Hebrew spelling, the Hebrew version. And these are the 10 suits. Pretty cool. And then there's a term phase on the back as well. Very helpful. There's four of those. These are all big, almost like tarot card size, as you can see. These are more of a bridge size. Uh, they're decent quality. They have a linen finish. Unfortunately, they are a little bit thin. These ones are thicker so they're fine and you get a tune card which is where you're going to get rid of cards once you create sets of cards and um so these are at the bottom you got the exodus begins we'll get to that these cards are different events that are going to happen when you take one of these cards so if you complete one of these cards if i complete this which is five different plagues of only odd numbers I take this, I replace it with another one, and then I reveal a plague. And then, you know, next time we have to replace one, let's say I take this one and replace this one, then we reveal next plague, and so forth. I'll say that. So what are the plagues? The first one is blood. And it indicates here that you cannot play any blood cards, or you cannot draw any blood cards until the next plague. And anyone who has, uh, who draws a blood card has to reveal it, and they discard it, and your turn is over. The next plague is the frogs, ribbit. <laughs> uh, the current player will draw decks equal to the number of players from the deck displayed in full players, and each turn in order will swamp a card from their hand with that card. Basically, there's different things that's going to happen when these are released. Lice. And each player gets one card from their hand to the player to the right, and one to the player on their left. And then you're going to... There's also a reshuffle event. We're going to take whatever cards are discarded in the tomb over here, and you're going to reshuffle them into the draw deck. And you're going to continue on this one. Uh... Every player is going to name a plague or a number. You're going to flip up the three cards in the deck on the time. If it matched, you keep the card and discard one from your hand. You're always going to have 10 cards max in your hand. This one, all players must discard any three plague cards containing an animal, such as frog, lice, wild beast, or locust, from their hand to the tomb, and then you're going to draw back up to the hand limit in turn order. Now, this one boils. All players. Reveal all the Boils cards. If uh, whoever has the highest sum of Boils cards is safe, everyone else has to discard two cards with matching numbers or matching plagues in the tomb, and then everyone's going to draw back up. And then we got Hail. Turn order, each player must remove a pyramid card, shuffle the removed cards back into the remaining pyramid cards, and we fill the pyramid. So you're gonna take one of these pyramid cards, remove it, and replace it. So if there's one you don't like, you get rid of it, and then you're gonna reshuffle the cards from the tomb again. 
the eighth plague, locusts. And everyone's going to reveal top card from the draw deck. Current player reveals the top card from the draw deck. And that plague on the card must be discarded from everyone's hands to the tomb. And then you're going to draw back up a turn order. That was locusts next. Number nine is darkness. And it says, in turn order, close your eyes, shuffle your cards, randomly discard one card from your hand to the tomb. Everyone else is going to do the same thing and draw back up to hand limit in turn order. And the last one is the death of the firstborn. In this one, all players discard their highest number card to the tomb, to your firstborn. Uh, do not draw any cards afterwards. And then for the rest of the game, you have to play with just nine cards. You're going to start off with ten. Once you get to this, you're going to be down to just nine. And then finally, the last one here, the Exodus begins. And it has the instructions on the back. So what happens with this is, you know, following the steps, you're going to remove all the cards from the discard pile and the tomb from the game. They will not be used for the rest of the game. You're going to take the excess card and shuffle it into the remaining draw deck to create a, a draw deck. Do not flip the top card to create a discard pile. And the Exodus card is this. There's actually two of them. Yeah, but you're going to use one. You're going to shuffle it in there. And this is going to be the end game once you reveal that, as it says on here. So you're going to play the game as normal, but with only nine cards due to the last event. And you can continue to complete pyramid cards as you're able. Players cannot draw cards from the discard pile anymore. And the game ends immediately when this card is drawn. I'll put this aside for a moment. And you're going to set these up again. Starting off with the first one and moving down to 10 with this Exodus on the bottom. So these cards trigger different events and actions. So it's a pretty straightforward game. Uh, I set up for three players, each player with 10 cards. It's two to four players. You're going to look at your hand. I've got some of this, I got some of that. I've got four 10s. That might be useful. And I'm going to, you know, see if I can fulfill anything. I can draw a card from the top of the deck or from the discard pile. I'll just draw from the deck and it boils. So let's see if I got anything So Any four, this is any four different play cards totaling totally exactly 21. They have to be all four different plagues and they have to total 21. Mm, I might be able to do that. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, this is any five cards of blood and boils. I have three. <laughs> uh, uh, five cards of the same number. I got four. I got the tens. Darn it. Three cards with the number three. I don't have that either. And each card in the hand is number six or higher. Every card in your hand is number six or I, I don't have that either. So I'm done my time. I gotta make a discard, I guess. Let's discard this frog. And then the next player is gonna go. Going from left to right. They will draw a card. And then they're gonna see if they could do anything. Not quite. Um, any four different ones totally. So if I had, let's see, uh, we don't even have, well, maybe. No, that's not going to work. Any five cards of blood and boils? Nope. <laughs> uh, six or higher? No. Any three threes? No. Five cards with the same number. No. <laughs> so then it's going to be my turn, or this person's turn. And they may or may not be able to do something. Oh, I forgot to discard something. Let's just say they discard whatever, this card. And it's going to be my turn. I'm draw a card. Let's say it's my turn. And it's that one, and then let's just see if I can do something. 
Okay, I'm going to do this. Four cards, they're all different suits, 16, 17, 8, 9, 20, that equals 21, so I get to take this play card. These will go in the tomb. They're done. I get to draw back up to 10. I guess I don't make a discard because I discarded cards. I'm going to draw you one of these, and you flip over the first one, which says, again, no blood cards may be drawn until the next play. So if you draw a blood card, you have to discard it, and your turn is over. And then you're going to continue going around the table like that, trying to collect these cards, replacing them, revealing new events until you trigger the exodus, and then you're going to go through those steps, and you're going to, of course, mix this card into the remaining deck. Once this gets revealed, the game is over. Then you're going to score your points. Whoever has the most points wins. Uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty nice little straightforward kind of set collection and contract fulfillment game. I do wish the cards were a little bit thicker quality, but they're fine. And yeah, I like the theme. I like how they put this together. As soon as I saw this on Kickstarter, I was like, yeah, I like it. I was it. <laughs> um... Let's just see if there's anything else I forgot to mention. You're going to continue playing until all 10 event cards have been played. Then you're going to do the Exodus, like I said. You're going to throw this card in there. And play until that card gets revealed, as it says right here. And when you do put this card in here, you're going to take all of these from the discard, from the tomb. They're out of the game. And you just continue. You cannot draw from the discard anymore. So this card is here would not be able to take that, you just draw from the deck, and yeah. As it says right here. So then yeah, you count your pyramid points, and whoever has the most is gonna win if there's a tie. Whoever completed the most pyramid cards wins. If there's still a tie, whoever has the least amount of different play cards in their hand would win. Maybe you look at that. And if it's still tied, you say a victory. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's a pretty cool game. I liked it. I like it. I do think it's worth checking out. And as that, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.